How's it going fellow flyers? Today is a special day because I got a new quad. So what I got was the Armiton Marmot. Marmot? 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 So I wanted something that was pre-built and pre-tuned so I can get out flying as quick as possible. I could have built it, I just didn't have the time nor the ambition to actually build my own. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to get an Arma 10 was for the lifetime warranty on the frame itself. The iFlight DC3 that I had, the arms were breaking, um, and I just wanted something a little bit more durable, and I wanted to go with the 5 inch quad. Besides the lifetime warranty, I really love the way that the frame looks. The cage where the FPV camera is is made out of, out of titanium, uh, and it is adjustable so you can have the same tilt uh, with the camera and the GoPro and it's all adjustable in one. So as you can see I got some 3D printed TPU parts. I have the GoPro Hero 8 housing. I have a skid plate, bumpers, and the antenna holder for the DJI unit itself. So I wanted to get the GoPro Hero 8 for some better image quality. Now the quality out of the DJI Air unit is satisfactory but I just wanted to get that sweet cinematic B-roll with that cool color. No, I just really like the way that it looks for that, and I just kind of wanted to step up my game with that. For batteries, I decided to go with 6S. I found some batteries because everything was freaking out of stock, but I got some GNB uh, 1350 milliamps. They seem to be really light and really good. And what I decided to do with the batteries is I got some gaffer's tape and what I did is I wrapped everything up in this high-vis gaffer's tape so if it falls off I can easily find it. I also got a bunch of props to test out to see which ones I like. Um, different pitches, different brands, they're relatively cheap so um, lots of exploring to do with the props and seeing which ones I like. So this was my first 5 inch quad. Um, I was actually surprised that it felt a lot like the 3 inch. Although I could tell that it did have more mass and weighed more. So the weight of the frame, props, and 3D parts was 640 grams. With the battery it came out to 675. And with the GoPro it tops out at 802 grams. I could definitely tell that the GoPro weight made it feel a lot more clunky. For right now, I only plan on putting the GoPro on the quad for safe stuff. Uh, just cruising around to get that cool cinematic B-roll stuff. My expectations for a 5-inch quad was really high and I thought it was going to be the best thing ever. But I was quite surprised that it was not as smooth as I thought. I was hoping that getting it from the factory would be tuned perfectly. Um, it's on Betaflight 4.1.7. I'll possibly upgrade to 4.2 the next day or two here and see if that helps. And I do plan on tuning it myself to see if I can get a little bit better. But right now it seems a little bit twitchy, just kind of flying along level. Doing any rolls or flips, there's a little bit of bounce back, but that's acceptable. So, one issue that I had that I was freaking out about was that the TPU antenna mount that I have was a little bit short and the antennas were a little bit long so I had to cram the antenna back in the back end of the quad and I must have pinched the DJI Air unit wire against the frame because it shorted out. I was about to do a maiden flight and I saw some smoke coming from the quad and my signal dropped from my goggles. So. That kind of sucked, but luckily I had another spare cable that I was able to solder back in. So that's my initial review of the Armiton Marmot. Marmot? Marmot? I will probably never be able to say that right, so uh, get used to it. Overall, I'm excited and I hope to beat the quad up and see what I can do. Until next time, fly safe. Peace.